can't believe eight NFL seasons fourth with Cincinnati, one of the best defensive tackles ever. I said it. Please welcome the grave digger, even though we're November and Halloween is over. <laughs> DJ Reader, how are you? What's up? What's up, Kay? How you doing? Where are you? I'm at this coffee shop at my house called Deeper Roots, just hanging out. It's a Tuesday. You're just at a coffee shop. Can I see the coffee shop? Where? What are you drinking? What's the? Yeah, order? I'm drinking a. I'm drinking a pour over right now. Some of the coffee of the day. So, um, you know, I'm just getting some vibes. And man, some days you can't just be at the house. Just got you know, things going on in the crib right now. They're fixing TVs and stuff. So I just want to be out of the house and just get a vibe check. I come here just about every day though. To do, do your thing. Do people? Go up to you, recognize you. Yeah, I'm a regular here now. They know my order. I mean, I mean, some people come up here and they say it's uh, there's just one guy who's studying for his first uh, law exam right now, and I see him just about every day. So, okay. shout out to that guy, praying that he does his thing. He You're gonna have there's gonna be a line out that door for that pour over <laughs> tomorrow by your house. Deep Roots was it uh, out there in Cincinnati? We got lots of Bengals fans watching right now, and we want to get to the, the good stuff here. Congratulations, right. my friend! Huge Thank win, you. big plays against Buffalo. I mean, how does it feel to own the Bills? Uh, I don't know if we own them. Uh, we just went out there. We had a good game, and they got a bunch of good players on the team. So it's always a tough matchup with us going against each other. And then I think you know it's, it's just that thing that gets built up on TV. I was just glad to win in prime time for real. Like you know, it's Sunday night. I just kept seeing that statistic. We're zero and nine on Sunday night, and it's Sunday third. Just go out there and get that dub. It was electric in the jungle. Was real. that talked about in the building a lot? That statistic about prime time games. <laughs> Nah, you know, we don't talk about it. You try not to talk about it as players, but, you know, you check Twitter and stuff, and you see what's going on, or, or X, as it's called now, I guess. Uh, do you still call it Twitter, or you call it that? I call it, I call it Twitter. I'm just dying that you're in a okay. coffee shop doing this interview right now. <laughs> I mean, but you do own the Bills, right? Like, it's not like a lease. You didn't, like, it, like come on now. We just play good against them, man. I think, I think it's that matchup. I think it's a lot of energy from both teams. I think both of us, you know, we both got a chip on their shoulder probably to be one of those top teams in the AFC. And, uh, you know, they feel like they deserve to be there and we feel like we're there and they got to come take it from us. And it's just one of those matchups. But, you know, we we on the Houston this week. We put them behind us and we get to see a couple of my boys from Ace Town this week and it should be a good time. Is there something about the matchup other than it being just big and loud and built up on TV? Like, Take me into the onto the field for that one. I mean, you stopped the Bills. The Bills rushed for 68 yards, two turnovers. Yeah. I mean, you guys are stopping the run game. Christian McCaffrey only had 54 yards a week ago for three turnovers. Like, what's up with this defense and Lou? Coach Lou! Coach Lou, the man. He's the man. He just doesn't play. I think it's just the matchup. I think it's just guys out there on the field. You see who they have on their team. Obviously, you know, they got a bunch of great players that we hear about all the time. I think. The guys we have on our team want their respect. We want to demand like what we like what we feel like we deserve. And I feel like that that's when those matchups come up. We're excited about them. You know, I'm sure on offense they see the debates on whether they're this or that. And I think people, you know, people pay attention to it. I don't think it's it's unhuman not to read into that a little bit. And if you let us fuel your fire, I think it's a little bit of, it's it's an advantage of us and fuel our fire a little bit. So I think that's really what happens and you know, Lou just does his thing, man. Lou spins every weekend. We get out there, he dials most of us, and he's just doing what he's supposed to do. And I love it. I love to see it. I love when Lou out there doing his thing. And you can tell when he into it on the sideline. Yeah. He might get a little too. He might get a little too into it sometimes. You gotta bring him back. But I think he, he, I he think gets, Lou I think Lou likes being on camera. I think that's all he gets. I think it's a little acting, no? Oh yeah, he giving a show though, but he loves that shit. He loves it. He loves it. Lou the man, man. He, and you can tell when he gets to him. He'll come right up to you right after, like, ah, oh, man, you know, I got a little, got a little too, too into it. And, and what I really appreciate about Lou is, like, you know, most coaches you have, if they call something bad or didn't do something the way they would have wanted to or would have could have got things back, they, they won't tell you. They'll never say that to you. Lou, Lou will come in there on Monday, like, all right, this is the one call I feel like I could have had back, or I wish I should have had this back, or I should have gave you all a little bit of information on this. And, we appreciate that because, I mean, you know, sometimes we know we want to know why he called certain things, but he goes through the details and exactly why he's doing it. And that's why we trust him with our life, man. Lou the man. Uh, and he, I think he said that you don't get talked about enough. And he said that you're playing at a super high level. I mean, your head coach is saying the same thing about you. Are you sad Coach Lou's going to leave you after this year? Man, don't talk like that. Don't do me like that. Don't put that in my head right now. I don't need that type of 
that, that energy, man. Lou, Lou gonna be with me forever. DJ. Uh, so, so whatever. You, well, gotta hey, stop, look, you gotta stop talking hey. him up, DJ. I'm hey. just giving you the... Pe- if you keep talking him up and saying those nice things you just said... What do you oh, what do you say about the man? Y'all have to you have to call a team meeting. You've been there four years, my friend. You call yeah. it te- you get everybody. CTC and you say, TTB, you say, not another nice word about Coach Lou. Y'all better well, shut the game. F up when it comes to Coach Lou. <laughs> say Coach Lou's a hothead. Say he's a, a inconsistent, irresponsible. He's not that good. He's a mad scientist. Pshoo! You guys have to start talking badly about him. I'm just telling but you. Then, right now. You know what I'm saying? You do. I feel like you do that. You speak those type of words. You're gonna bring that bad juju to you. Uh, you know, okay. So you don't want to bring. You don't like words are powerful. Okay. You don't want to bring that type of energy. I guess you it comes with success. And, yeah, yeah, it comes with success. So we gotta, we gotta give my man his flowers and then just hope that it works out in your favor. You know what I'm saying? We just bless even more that Coach Lou's just uh, as amazing as he is, and we just keep reaping the benefits of giving him his flowers. Uh, Joe Burrow looks pretty good, huh? Yeah, he do, right? Don't he? He looks he so looks good. good. Wait, I yeah, think he looks better boy. than ever, Deej. Better than ever. Hey. Not just this, but this actually I don't really understand. But the he looks hey. great on the field. He's a swag champ, though. My boy got hella swag. And, you know, he's doing his thing out there. And I'm, I'm just excited he's back, man. Back on the center, doing things, manipulating the stat count. It's just being him. It's just fun to watch. It's it's fun to watch when you got a guy like him. He's just gaming. He's locked in. You can tell he's locked in from the moment he showed up to the stadium. And, 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 and you know, it's just going to be one of them days. And, and that's fun to see. And you feel super confident as a defensive player and your quarterback out there rocking like that. Miles Garrett came on the show, and I said, who you got? Who, do you, who's a, who, who would you take? Would you take Joe Burrow or Lamar Jackson? He said Joe. Yeah, I'm going to take Joe, too. Now, hey, I ain't saying that. Hey. Eight like that now. Hey, let me tell you, eight is like that in mm-hmm. Baltimore. He's amazing. I'm going to take Joe, too, though. He's my guy. I'm riding with Joe. Uh, you got a guy this week that's lighting it up. What do you make of your mm-hmm. Texans matchups? I mean, I'm a, I am love you, but I lo- I'm a C- CJ, hard to root for. You going to make it tough on him? Yeah, he's doing his thing, man. He, he's balling. Like, you know, to see a rookie go out there and throw the ball away around the way he is, and just you see the team kind of, the way they have his back, they lose the confidence about him. I'm excited for this matchup. You know, getting to see a few guys I'm familiar with, some faces mm-hmm. I'm not so familiar with. So I'm, I'm excited to go out there and play, man. You know, it, it, the offense should be good for this weekend. It should be a good weekend, though, to play some good football. We got one o'clock game in the Natty. Jones is going to be watching. I'm excited. <laughs> DJ's got a little something extra with the team that drafted him all those years ago. Enjoy your pour over coffee. I hope to see you Thank in person. You. I'm not going to make you sing in front of a coffee shop, so you're welcome for that. Right. We love you. All right. You got to pull up. Talk badly about Coach Lou, or at least just don't just don't say good things about him. That's just my advice from me to you. Love you, DJ. I good got luck. you. Love you, too.